crazy is happening behind the scenes. If they're if you're if you have your admin account logged in and you're logging into admin or to root basically, they have access to your entire machine from any remote location. They can do whatever they want. Um, if you basically make yourself a user and then make that user your everyday account, you're making your computer a little bit a little bit safer. Same thing in that world that comes from the world of from world of uh, from my IT administration days. Root is not the best thing to log in as because root can destroy your system, right? So if you don't know what you're doing, then don't log in as root. I just happen to be working inside of BSD or FreeNAS, right? It's BSD, and you can see right here it says, look. FreeNAS is released under the modified BSD license, so it's it's basically um, it's basically BSD, a light version of it. So the nice thing is the fact that um, I can I can work with this stuff and not screw up my system. So what I want to do is I need to see where my jail is at. Because remember these jails I set up over here? These jails are separate instances of basically a, a free of a free BSD running inside of FreeBSD. It's like operating system con inception, uh, which is really awesome. So this is the command I want to run. I want to run uh, jail ls, so jail list. You can see it lists all the jails for me, and there they are. And now I want to say jail exc, and then type the number of the jail that I want to go into. And the jail I want to go into is 15, and then csh. And you see now it shows me root at Phoenix web server, and I'm in there. I'm as root. If I hit ls for my list command, I can see there's everything that's inside of that um, directory at at the home directory, basically, or the root directory of the Phoenix server. So first thing I want to do when I do this install, I like to install um, Apache first. So I'm going to use the command of PKG, which is package. That's the package system for um, for FreeBSD. And package uses a system called ports. And if you're a, if you're a Ubuntu user or you're a Red Hat user or any variant that uses a package management system like SUSE or well SUSE is really based off of Red Hat so um, but if you're a user of one of those systems that has a, a package management system then package or ports is very much like that it, it, it's really awesome because ports will go find any of the dependencies that I need to install the package that I want to install now one thing while I'm doing this um, most people are, might just start screaming out. They're like, okay, you're typing package, but you didn't give it a sudo command at the very beginning. Well, you got to remember, I don't need to use a sudo command, which is super user do. That's what sudo stands for, if you didn't know. Sudo is basically super user do whatever the command is afterwards. I'm, I am super user. I'm root. <laughs> I am root, right? Kind of like Groot, but with more power um, and not really lame. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't need to use the sudo command because I'm already at root level. So I'm going to say package, I'm going to say install, and I'm going to say Apache uh, 2.4. Now, I do Apache 2.4 because Apache 2.4 is basically the, um, it's basically the, uh, blah, 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 what am I thinking of? It is the number version of Apache that's within the database. Now, right now, we can see that it's got, it's saying package, repository, free as BSD, has a wrong package site, needs to re recreate the database. Well, that's fine. It's going to recreate the database. It's going to give it, it's going to take a little bit of time to recreate the database. So I'm going to pause the video while the database is being recreated and rebuilt. And then after that, we can go through and install all the rest of the stuff. So I'm just going to pause the video real quick and then let it do its thing. All right, so we unpause that because <coughs> what happened is that the PKG file package it had an update because it was package version 1.4.12 and it's now been updated to package version 1.6.2. That's why it took a little bit of time for it to do that. So let's continue. So our next command is going to be package install 
uh, patch A24. And it shouldn't take forever this time. And see, there it goes. So you can see it's going to install two new packages. The new packages that will be installed will be Apache 2.4.18 and then PCRE8. 0.37 underscore 4 and it's going to take 28 megs of space and so I'm going to say yes and proceed and you can see there it is it's downloading downloading oh look at that awesome and it's pretty fast and it's done it's it downloaded it and it installed it that quick it's it's done kablammy kazam kazooga zooga right so <clears throat> the next command that I want to do is I need to make sure that uh, the Apache server starts and I want to make sure that it starts automatically. So I'm going to type this command sysrc uh, and we're going to type Apache 24 and underscore enable equals yes and then say hit enter and you can see it returned Apache enable yes so it there it goes it's there uh, so I know I'm gonna need this a little bit later I'm gonna need to be able to use nano nano is a text-based editor I'm gonna need it a little bit later so I'm gonna go ahead and install it now so I'm gonna go ahead and install nano now so I'm gonna say package install nano and there it is and yes and there it goes, it's installed, and there there it is, it's installed. Um, so, I've got Apache installed. Uh, now, I want to install MySQL. So, I'm going to say package install MySQL dash server. And actually, this is supposed to be 5.6. So, it should be MySQL... Uh, let's make sure, because I uh, know uh, I always write myself. I already have my I always have my notes written down because I, I don't I don't do this very often, but I know it, and it's right. That's why I'm, I'm right. I'm right. Looking at my show notes, I am right. So package install MySQL 5.6 dash server and go, and you can see it's telling me new packages to be installed will be the server and the client and then this lib edit. And I'm going to say yes. I want to do all those things. So do it, do it, do it, do it to it, buddy. Yeah. Rock and roll. So it's going, it's downloading. You know, a lot of people always really complain about working from command line. They're like, you can't see anything. It's just useless. You can't do anything from command line. You can do a freaking lot from command line. I don't know what they're talking about. They are insane in their membranes. Because you can do a lot from uh, from command line. You can actually see downloads happening from command line. I mean, there are a lot of things happening from command line. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know about this command line thing that they're speaking of. So anyway, um, so let's add. We need to add this for MySQL as well. So I'm going to say sysrc, and I'm going to say mysql underscore enable equals yes and that got added to my uh, to my file now I've added my Apache web server and my MySQL server to start from the big from whenever the jail starts but we're not currently running right now so I'm gonna start up Apache so I'm gonna say service I'm gonna start it up manually so service Apache 2.4 start and it started that was it and you want to you want to check to make sure it started that's really super simple because we gave it an IP address the IP address was 10.1.10.28 if I do that and I hit enter you can see it says it works it works means that the Apache server is actually running um, it's just that simple that's my Apache server is running and let's do the same thing for my MySQL so let's say service MySQL I don't know what I'm typing MySQL server start and give it a second and you will see the server will start and you 
you see right there starting my SQL and it started and that's it now if you ever need to restart while you're in while you're doing this from command line it's pretty simple too so I can say service like uh, my SQL dash server and just say restart and you'll see it's stopping MySQL and it says waiting for the PIDs um, and then it's now it says starting MySQL so it stopped it and then restarted it just that simple right so now we've got we've got our web server is working because it says it works we can see it's working and MySQL is working so what I want to do now is I want to install PHP so that we can do some PHP yeah you know PHP is awesome and I also want to install um, PHP my admin PHP my admin is a user interface to be able to use with the MySQL database so instead of having to do everything com from command line because MySQL really is a command line driven um, database so it's all done from da from the command line you can do it that way but I want to have something that's more graphical and user interfacey so I can see things and see colors and not you know, feel like I'm in the 1980s. I feel like a hacker when I'm doing this, right? You feel like you're hacking something, but you're not. You're you're making things. You're not hacking them. So I'm gonna say package install, and I'm gonna install PHP 5.6, and PHP 5.6 is just the version number, right? So it's PHP version 5.6, and I'm gonna install all the mods underscore PHP 5.6. And I'm also going to install PHP, mm, meep, meep, uh, PHP MySQL, and then PHP dash MySQLi. Yeah. And these are all the packages. So this right here is PHP. These are the modules for PHP. This is another module pack, and this is another module pack, and and these are all to be, and these two last two are to be used with um, MySQL specifically. And then I'm gonna hit enter. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I messed that up. Oh god. Okay. Now <laughs> it messed up because you see that it hit that, and it gave me this weirdness. So if you hit the up arrow, it'll repeat last command that you tried to do. Um, Oh, I see what's going on there. I have PHP and I don't have 5.6, so 5.6. So there, there you go. So you see now it's saying new packages to be installed. PHP 5.6, mod, PHP, PHP 5.6, MySQL, MySQLi, and then the lib XML, which is a library for the XML files to be able to write out XML files um, with PHP and things like that. So as you can see, one, I made a mistake like three times um, here. Uh, so uh, this is unedited. This is straight to YouTube. I believe in bringing you guys the truth and nothing but the truth because you can handle the truth. You can. My YouTubers can handle the truth. And I'm going to say yes and let it install and let it go. And there it goes. It's like chugga 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 chugga. Putting all the stuff in there. Chugga 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 chugga. And it's chugging away on all that. And there, it's done. It's It's done. It's literally done. That's it. It's literally it's literally done. So now that I just installed uh, PHP and I installed MySQL and everything else, I'm gonna actually install PHP my admin as well. So I'm gonna say PKG um, install PHP my admin, and you have to type it the way that I have it written. So you have to type. PHP capital M for my and capital A for admin so it knows what you're talking about and I'm going to say yes because you got to remember we're working on a Unix based environment um, a lowercase and an uppercase are completely different from each other unlike Windows Windows is just horrible horrible Windows is horrible it's it's bad no I, I take that back I love using Windows right now Windows is not horrible. Just some of the architectural choices that Windows has made and kept over the years are just bad. Like, at this point, Windows could be so much better if they just took some of the mindset that goes with the Linux and Unix community and the BSD community and just say, hey, you know what? We no 